a pinch and a punch. It's the first of the month. Bagsy, no returns. This is the CurrencyTransfer.com daily market update for Thursday the 1st of February. Uh, the main headlines are around Brexit disagreements. Um, the, the FOMC met without much uh, impact and equally Eurozone inflation data passed without much reaction. So Brexit being the main event, um, I mean, you look back and it's a case of optimism. What optimism? Um, before, before stage two kicked off, there was, you know, a lot of optimism around the Brexit talks and largely unfounded. Um, you know, the two sides are still taking polar opposite positions against the two major, uh, major subjects and major issues of access to the single market and free movement of labour. So on the second, Theresa May, who's currently over in China uh, for trade talks, she announced that there would be no special arrangements made for any EU citizens coming to the UK during the agreed transitionary period. Um, this means that effectively any, anyone from the EU will be treated in exactly the same way as all other immigrants to the UK. Nice friendly starting point. Um, meanwhile, the European Commission has rejected a proposal from the City of London uh, that would allow the British banks to, um, to access the single market on the same terms as the EU banks. Um, they seem to be favouring equivalence, whereby the UK uh, would have to mirror all the, all the regulatory uh, requirements and behave as if they were regulated in order to have access to the EU markets. Now that for me is a fairly, you know, a little bit more of a common sense approach. If you want to act in our markets, act as if uh, you have regulation to do so. You know, it seems fair enough. Um, and then finally from the UK, a, a leaked government report. Uh, the bods in Whitehall have been crunching the numbers and it's all doom and gloom. Regardless of how drastic the, uh, the Brexit exit is, uh, they're calling um, the UK economy to slump by up to 8%. So that's a nice cheery start to one's February. But all this doom and gloom uh, didn't really have much effect on sterling, which closed close to the highs of the day against both the dollar and the euro. Um, the, uh, the cable ended up just shy of 142, and against the single currency, uh, sterling was, uh, was a little bit short of 114.50. We'll put the exact uh, rates in the comments below for you. Um, stateside over in the US, obviously the Fed um, meeting was the main order of the day. Uh, the handover from uh, Janet Yellen to Powell went without fuss. There's not really much um, much fuss with respect to the changing of the guard over there. Uh, Powell was unanimously accepted as the new chairman, but he'll officially take over on February the 5th uh, when he makes his first speech in the position. Uh, naturally, as expected, there was no change made to interest rate policy. Uh, they're sitting on their hands just for the time being, waiting for the December uh, rate hike to bed in a little bit to the economy before making any further moves. Um, over in the EU, uh, the, the EU like Eurozone inflation data, it was just shy of forecast and therefore pretty uneventful with respect to currency movements. But it does seem to have dampened any calls for a preemptive tightening to, to monetary policy. And so perhaps old Draghi was right in the last ECB meeting just to temper and not make any promises over a reduction to the asset purchase scheme. Uh, Euro dollar rose to a high of 124.75 uh, before just falling before the end of the day as a little bit of profit taking took place. So that's it. Largely a pretty quiet day um, and we'll obviously keep you posted of, of anything of interest coming up today. Um, do follow the feed at Currency Transfer um, and at FX Plu. All the best. See you tomorrow.